We're here at Dolby's MWC 2015 stand where so far it's been a pretty big show for them. Alongside an announcement with HTC, which the new M9 phone now features 5.1 Dolby Digital surround sound processing, they've announced a new partnership with Lenovo and two Lollipop tablets and the world's first smartphone, all three of which feature Dolby Atmos. The great thing is there's not a big price tag attached to these. We don't have UK prices just yet, but there is a small tablet, the A8, which is eight inches and will cost $99, and the A10, 10-inch tablet which will cost $199 while the phone comes in at $169. So you might be wondering how do you get the Dolby Atmos experience, an experience you get in the cinema with up to 64 speakers in a pair of headphones. Well we wondered the same, we spoke to Dolby about it and they explained to us that Atmos is always recorded and mixed in exactly the same way, it's just that when it's made for a phone or a tablet it's uh, repackaged into a redeveloped Dolby Digital Plus codec which makes it small enough for a phone or a tablet to process and then pass into a pair of headphones. The best thing is, is that all the processing goes on in the phone or tablet itself and you can connect any, any uh, headphones that you currently own and get the Dolby Atmos experience. Alongside the new products announced, we also got a chance to play with Dolby's new VR project which is developing in association with Jaunt VR. There's only a few demo clips currently available but it gives an idea of what Dolby wants to create. It wants to offer a 360 degree audio experience to go with a 360 degree virtual reality or, uh, visual experience. And we have to say that from our short time with it, we were pretty impressed. Um, um, there was a real sense of 360 degree sound. One clip in particular was a horror clip and it was genuinely scary, had me jumping out of my skin. Another clip had a lot of height noises, so it had a lot of planes coming overhead. And I have to say, despite being skeptical to begin with, it was really quite impressive and, and really quite convincing. It's a really exciting time for Dolby Atmos. It's been in our cinemas, it's in our homes, and now it's coming to our phones and tablets and even virtual reality. So we're really excited to see how this technology continues to develop and evolve. But what do you think? Are you excited or are you skeptical? We want to know, so do leave us a comment below and don't forget to click subscribe for more videos from What Hi Fi. If you want to get in contact, you can get us on all of the social media channels. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or add us on Google Plus.